Today I want to talk about Egypt Epithecus. This video will be the first in a series which will focus on hominid and hominin evolution from the divergence of the old world monkeys up to the emergence and spread of modern humans. Egypt Epithecus, also known as Propliopithecus, was a genus of primate that is considered to be the common ancestor of apes and old world monkeys. Discovered in the year 1908, it was initially thought to be a species of ape. Eventually, further research and fossil finds have shown it to be closer to monkeys in morphology. Either way, it has nonetheless cemented itself as a crucial point in our own evolution. It lived in what is now Egypt around 30 million years ago. When most people think of Egypt, they think of deserts, sand and pyramids. But 30 million years ago, it was a heavily forested environment ideal for the evolution of early primates. Rapid desertification of the Sahara region, which Egypt is a part of, didn't start happening until around 4 million years ago. Since then, it has gone through cycles of wet and dry periods, with the last wet period ending around 12,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. With that out of the way, let's do a quick exploration of its physical characteristics and look at the similarities between it and some of its modern day descendants. I'll show a couple of images I created to give a visual comparison. In the top row of this image, from left to right, we have the skull of a rhesus monkey, a colobus monkey, and a verba monkey. The bottom row from left to right, we have our three apes, a chimpanzee, orangutan, and gorilla. And in the middle, we have the Egypt epithecus, the common ancestor of both groups. The second image contains the same species, save for the colobus monkey skull, since I couldn't find a front-on image needed for the comparison. Notice from the side the length of the snout and the size and shape of the brain case of the Egyptopithecus skull, bearing more of a resemblance to the old world monkeys shown above. From the front, notice the narrow but robust jaws and teeth. When comparing it to some of its descendants, the narrowness of the jaw is again reminiscent of its old world monkey descendants. But when comparing teeth, there's less of a resemblance to the monkeys and more of a resemblance to the apes below it. The lower jaw and teeth were the first fossils of this primate found and led to the original assumption of these primates being apes. This has now been long disproven as I mentioned before. Based on other skeletal finds of the genus, Egypt Epithecus was probably more robust in comparison to other primates of its time and walked along on its palms like modern monkeys. Based on analysis of the wear on the teeth, it's likely that Egypt Epithecus was mainly a fruit eater searching for its next meal as it clambered along the branches. Well, that's all I've got for today, and I hope you've enjoyed the vid and maybe learned something new. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day.